Hey guys, I'm back with another Game of Thrones review, this time reviewing Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 10, the Season 6 finale of Game of Thrones titled The Winds of Winter. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later because everything I say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Last week's episode was so good, I didn't think there was any way this episode could top it, and boy was I wrong. The season 6 finale was my favorite episode in the entire series. I would go ahead and call it the best episode of the entire series. So much happened, so many uh, moments that are going to be known as iconic moments in the history of this show and of the overall story in including the novels. Whether the novels you take a different route or not, the moments in this episode are going to be iconic moments. Let's touch on a few of them. First up, Cersei's master stroke. Oh my god, what a great Cersei episode this was. She ends the episode and she's sitting on the Iron Throne, the first female ever to sit the Iron Throne as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. But at the beginning of the episode, she no-shows her trial and Marjorie knows something's up and she's trying to tell the High Sparrow, look, we need the GTFO because she knows the consequences for missing this trial and she's still skipping it. So something bad is going to happen here. We need to go. And in his arrogance, he does not heed that warning and pays the ultimate price. What a fantastic moment. What a fantastic scene. The visual effects throughout that scene with the wildfire were fantastic. And then the, the church imploding. Oh my gosh, it was absolutely beautiful. Of course, it wouldn't be Cersei if this whole thing didn't backfire somehow. So Tommen takes a nosedive out of the castle and commits suicide. So Cersei ends up on the Iron Throne. And I don't think that was her intention, but a silver lining, I guess. Yeah, Tommen commits suicide, but that puts Cersei on the Iron Throne. So maybe she's seeing the silver lining there, but there's going to be some self-loathing with Cersei, I think, as well. Also, in this episode, we saw Varys, and he's orchestrating an, an alliance with Dorne, and so that's really great. Um, Daenerys is going to have Dorne behind her when she gets to Westeros, which she's on her way. And she made Tyrion Hand of the Queen, which was the smartest thing she could possibly do. He is by far her best advisor. Moving on to the next iconic moment from this episode, Arya murdering Walder Frey. I did not see that coming at all. I did. I don't remember seeing Maisie Williams in the opening credits. I must not have been paying attention, but I didn't think she was going to be in this episode. And then when, when the, the serving girl pulled the mask off, and I was like, oh my god! And then she fed him his own kids. Oh man. Oh god. And, and then slit his throat and Oh gosh, that was Arya was in the episode for probably 20 or 30 seconds at the most, and it was, I think, my favorite 20 or 30 seconds of the entire season. Also in this episode, it's confirmed Jon Snow is a Targaryen. She whispered it, uh, Ned Stark's sister whispered it in his ear. We, everybody knows basically what she said, even though it wasn't audible. We know Jon Snow is a Targaryen. Close up on the baby, close up on Jon Snow. It's confirmed. How that plays out as the series concludes is going to be really interesting to see. I still think Tyrion's a Targaryen. I'm waiting for that revelation next season, hopefully early next season. And let me just say real fast, Jon Snow is now king in the north, and Lady Mormont is awesome. She steals every scene she is in, and the way she just dressed down all the lords in the north and just called them out on their cowardice, and then they had to own it because there's this little girl calling them out. That was a fantastic scene. I love Lady Mormont. She's awesome. And like I said, Jon Snow is now the king in the north, and it was Littlefinger's plan to get Sansa to take, you know, become queen in the north, marry him, and then, you know, there's a Stark in Winterfell, as, a, as opposed to a motherless bastard, how he put it. 
But now that, that Jon Snow, people are rallying around him and they're naming him the king in the north, and Sansa seems like she's pretty cool with it, I don't know what Littlefinger's next play is. He didn't look happy, and just that look on Sansa's face, there might have been a little hint of fear there, like, oh god, Littlefinger's gonna go ape shit now, <laughs> what's gonna happen? Because he absolutely can't be trusted, and she has... And most likely, in his eyes, whether it's she did or not, she's betrayed him. But Littlefinger, he, he's going to take it personally. And the final iconic moment, that last shot with the dragons flying, with the ships sailing, absolutely stunning. It was beautiful, just visually really gorgeous, but also a really important moment. And I love how it immediately followed. Cersei takes the throne and she's, you know, she is the first, you know, female queen of the Seven Kingdoms, which Daenerys thought she would be. But, you know, Cersei sits down on the throne and then we immediately get the ships sailing toward Westeros. So I loved the, the juxtaposition there with, uh, you know, Cersei's on top of the world for now, kind of. I mean, her son's dead, which is probably, she's not really happy about that, I assume. But otherwise, things are going pretty well for Cersei. But a storm is a coming. Two storms are coming. Daenerys is coming with her Unsullied, with her Dothraki, with her dragons, and ice zombies coming down from the north. So the all hell is going to break loose starting next season. I absolutely cannot wait for it. Oh my god. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything I had to talk about in this video. If you have anything to add, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you did, be sure to tell me by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.